while the world has been suffering due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the primitive rainforest tribes living in isolation from modern civilization have no knowledge of the coronavirus. In the 17th century, Europeans discovered the new continent and brought diseases such as smallpox which killed 90% of the indigenous people. Even today, primitive tribes such as Amazon indigenous still exist in many parts of the world. For primitive tribes with little immunity, the coronavirus will be very lethal. Let's explore the extant primitive tribes on Earth. The first extant primitive tribe on Earth is the Ethiopian Mothi, also known as the Dishi tribe. Ethiopia on the African continent is home to about 20 minority tribes. Among them, the Mothi are known as the last indigenous tribe to be discovered on Earth. To see them, visitors must first pass through Mago National Park. Visitors have to pay an entrance fee or go with a local guide to get through this place. If visitors cross this difficult road and go deep into the mountains, they could meet the Mercy people. Until they were discovered, they were a tribe living with their backs to the outside world to such an extent that they did not even know that their country was Ethiopia. Currently, the tribe's population is about 6,000. The Mercy people paint their faces and bodies, and especially the women are characterized by an incision on the lower lip with a round plate inserted into it. As for the origin of this custom, the most likely theory is that it was developed so women would not be taken in battles with other tribes. The Mercy traditional place continues to this day. When women reach a certain level of physical growth between the ages of 15 and 16, the lower lip is incised and a small plate is inserted. As the wounds heal, they are gradually replaced with larger plates. The largest is said to be 15 cm in diameter. This plate is a symbol of wealth and beauty, so the bigger the plate, the more attractive the woman and the more ideal bride. They live in tiny houses on the ground, woven from straw. And the entrances are said to be very narrow to keep out wind and animals. In modern times, the Morsi are mostly armed with AK rifles to protect their villages. And it is said that if they are secretly photographed without payment, they commit radical acts such as destroying cameras. The reason they are so sensitive about photos is that being photographed with a camera is a means for them to earn money. They could receive a photo model fee from tourists who come to see the play custom. If a tourist takes a picture with one person, they pay five balls, about 25 US cents, and a woman carrying a child earns 10 balls or 50 US cents, which is shared by two people. With this money, the Mercy also drink and party. The second primitive tribe we will look at is the Asmas, known as the descendants of cannibal warriors. The Asma people who live in the village of Asu, located at the eastern end of the Indonesian archipelago, are a tribe that had a terrible custom of eating human flesh until 40 years ago. The Esma tribe was the most warlike tribe among the 300 tribes in Indonesia, so battles with other tribes were very frequent. It was believed that after defeating the enemy, they had to eat the enemy's human flesh to steal their souls. We can see that they didn't just start eating human flesh to survive. The area they currently live in has been under the jurisdiction of the Indonesian government and elections are being held, but it is said that some members of the Asma tribe still reject modern civilization and live deep in the jungle. Nowadays, cannibalism is over, and the tribe's people live from the sago palm tree. In addition, the Indonesian government is providing various types of support as part of an assimilation project. The Indonesian government built electric facilities and installed satellite antennas. 
for them so that they could communicate with the outside world. In the evening, they get all the you know, light container box to watch TV. The changed village landscape is amazing, but many members of the tribe are concerned that their traditions, which have been passed on for hundreds of years, will disappear.